today is a fun one. Okay, so my husband, who does know a smidge, just a smidge, about makeup, uh, is picking my makeup and I am applying it. He recently had a surgery, so he's not able to apply it. That'll be another video, hopefully not too long from now, but for today, he has picked every single part of my makeup and I have to make it look good, <laughs> okay? So he doesn't get to pick where it goes because he's not applying it, I'm applying it. So we're gonna do that today. And during this, I have a lovely drink here. Um, this is a mixture. So this is a Swoon Lemonade. A classic lemonade, which is a zero sugar item. If you're looking for zero sugar stuff, give them a try. Um, my favorite from them is actually the half iced tea, half lemonade, but I had a few more of these. So I was like, hmm, let me figure out what I can do with that. Cause I didn't want just straight lemonade. So I've got that mixed with some grenadine. So I added in some sugar um, and then a little splash of lime juice delicious okay so that's what i'm drinking today what are you gonna drink while we're doing this video huh are you having anything refreshing to to sip on while we're doing this video let me know what your drink of choice today is and let's get started okay so uh -huh. from the primers we are picking obviously not in screen yep Okay, so an e.l.f. primer, the Power Grip primer, okay? Mm, mm-hmm. Okay. Because, and mostly just because I'm a nerd. I don't understand. It's e.l.f. Because, yeah, he's a nerd. Okay, and then for setting sprays, we've got matte, we've got dewy, and we've got all-nighter. Um... Hmm. Dewy makes me think shiny, so I guess matte. Matte? Okay, so we picked the <laughs> NYX matte finish. Okay, and then an eyeshadow base. This just makes the eyeshadows pop better. Oh, elf again. Cool. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, elf. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't like this reasoning. It better not stick through the whole video. <laughs> Or it's going to be a full face of elf. And you said this is... It's a uh, lash, lash primer. It works with some and doesn't work with others. But if you choose it, I have to use it. So, um, you know, when you paint things, you have to prime them first. So it seems like a good idea. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Hmm. Okay, so he is picking a completely discontinued item. This item, I almost just uh, got rid of it from my collection and I wish I had now, uh, but it is a stick foundation, but these are coming back. Um, so maybe maybe it'll still be good. I have no idea if this is my shade or not, but we're gonna try another e.l.f. product. <laughs> Do you even know what e.l.f. stands for? Um, it's, well, they, they kind of came before humans. Uh, they, they lived a long time until and they... And the makeup brand? Mm. No. Eyes, lips, face. Ah, uh, that's simple. Right? Yeah. All right, concealer. Um, I don't really know what it... It conceals things. Oh, okay, this one says it's hydrating. So that sounds healthy. It is healthy, and I'm very excited. It's my favorite one. Which you can pick from the bronzers in the face palette as well. Well, like I said, I know their target audience, so once again. Two Face! Ooh! Okay, I'm excited. This stuff, I think, goes on the cheeks, I think. You know where blush goes. That's what I think. I feel like I don't know anything about makeup anymore. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, I've seen commercials for those. Ooh, there we go. Target audience. Oh, wait, no, you said these ones are also... Mm hmm Hmm. Ooh. 
Ooh, this feels heavy and expensive. <laughs> I have no idea if it actually is. <laughs> it is. Well, not like super expensive. Those are exactly the same as this. Oh, okay. They're just my backups because it's my favorite one. That is a bronzer. Oh. Uh, that one, that one. So we already had a mat, so we can do dewy to balance it out. <laughs> okay. So we are picking the Ciate London Dewy Lush Glossy Cheek Tint. Highlighter implies that you're highlighting something. which I think should be definitely a lighter color. Okay, that's that's definitely lighter. Hold on to that one. That one's shiny though. I think this is empty. It is not. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ofra. There's another one there, and oh, those are one. also palettes. Yep. Okay. And then which ones? The palette has five different ones. <laughs> if we can get them open. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And this one? Or... Yes, those two are liquid. Yeah, I want to go with this one. Okay. <laughs> Going with So Suzanne Dream Maker. All right, and then a translucent setting powder. This is a lot of categories. <laughs> um, yeah. Setting powder? Yes. Um, I mean... White powder and white powder <laughs> and uh, white powder. <laughs> um, pinkish white powder. <laughs> I'm guessing this is all white powder of some kind. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go by packaging. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I like the the food, the tartar, and that's kind of <laughs> close to it, so the, the, the name's sort of kind of close to that. Tart. Go, sure. The Tart Smooth Operator. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I think this is one of those things where I just kind of have to go off the packaging, but also kind of brand recognition. So, because you're worth it. <laughs> is that the cover girl line? Um, oh, I mean, maybe, maybe it's... Maybe it's cover... Oh, maybe you're born with it? No, that's maybe. Maybe way. it's cover girl. <laughs> well, he picked a favorite. I love it. But I think I saw, oh, this one says universal, so I can't go wrong with universal because that means it's for everything. You know, I, well, I am used to seeing, I think, black mostly, so let's try blue. Okay, awesome. Brand new item. I just got this like a week ago. Oh. Oh my goodness. No. There's so many. 
Um, is this is this the actual color it is? Open it up. Uh, oh, it's a whole paintbrush thing. Whoa. <laughs> okay. So that is a liquid lip, and so it dries down like a lipstick. So then, when it uh, when it dries, does it go? Well, I guess I'm not supposed to know if it dries matte or shiny. So I will I will guess. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with my instinct. Maybelline because color jolt. <laughs> I don't know if they sell us anymore. Hopefully there's enough in there. I could just examine the the tip. That does not. Oh, it does. Nope. Ju Juvia's. Juvia's place. Place. Lux liner ruby. <laughs> Ooh. Two face again. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. <laughs> that smells like chocolate. It's the Too Faced chocolate bar. So if you go on a date, it will make your date hungry. <laughs> so this one is brand new. This is the culture. Yeah, this is the culture. It's brand new to me. Just bought it like last week. That's a lot of choices. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. Okay. I think I, uh, that's a contender too. Okay, we've got another contender. But then there's Culture 2. Yep, this is Culture 2. This is... The sequel. Yes, this one's a pretty new palette. I mean, this year palette. Okay. You didn't, you didn't have these in a particular order, did you? No. Oh, good. You're really making this hard. <laughs> You're making my people dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys, we skipped the elf palettes. Figures this would be the most difficult. Aha! Multiple. That one. You want that? Is that the only one in this you want? If in you in this in this palette, yes. Okay. So that one and this one, and then Bono. Okay. Yeah. We need some mattes. Oh, do we? Can't do just shimmers. Okay. Are you doing so in any case, of those mattes? Yeah, I was gonna say. In case the mat would be. Oh, um, melted. Okay, we're going real dark blues. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I have zoomed you in, turned on the lights, and we're going to get started, guys. This is such a mixture of extremely old stuff and brand, brand, brand new to me stuff. And my lovely husband is having me break into three different palettes, and they are all palettes I have not broken into. This one I recently bought, not used. This one I bought a while ago, and it's not been used. And this one I just got, again, not used. So we've got a lot to go on here. Let's dig in. I think I'm going to start with my eyes because I don't know how these formulas really work. Well, I know the Ofer Cosmetics, but I don't really know fallout and all that. So the only thing I have on my face so far is my skincare and a lip oil. Glam Light, Icy Palette, a blue raspberry version. So it is full of all these different blues. And he specifically picked the shade Melted. This deep, deep blue here. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. It's the first swatch of this palette. 
Do you get emotional when you break into a new palette? I do. I'm like, I break it. I broke it. All right, let's go. That is super soft. That is almost too soft. Oh my goodness, that is, wow, that is a color. Is that color? That is gonna give me some great color. All right. Ofra Cosmetics Urban Wander, Wanderer Palette. We have this shimmery, sparkly shade. And again, I've not swatched anything in this one yet, so here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's dark. Okay, that is, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more silvery, but it is actually basically like a black with a silver tinty maybe, and a little bit of sparkle, not nearly as much sparkle as I thought, so. Culture palette, this is the original Culture palette. He chose the shade uh, Bono which is, where to go? This blue shimmer here. Ooh, okay, that's a little rougher than I was thinking, but it's not like patchy rough, if that makes sense. So there's that, oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that is gorgeous. I was actually really afraid, but now that I've swatched these, I might be pre in love. I hope this turns out good because I really don't want to have to wash this off before doing, I have another video after this I gotta film where you're gonna see me talk about this top. Um, and then we have a symphony that we're going to tonight and I really wanna be able to wear whatever look I come up with. So hopefully I can make this work. Can I just leave it as those three? Or is that not acceptable? He did give me a eyeshadow primer, which is the e.l.f. one in the shade Sheer. But he also gave me a eyeliner pencil. So this is also brand new to me. Juvia's Place, the Nubian Intense Pencil Liner in Midnight Blue. Oh, okay, that is blue. Wow, that goes so well. Okay. Oh, I need another color. What can I do as the base color? Let me think about that. First, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my eyeshadow primer. Okay, and my eyes are primed and we're gonna dig in. I have no idea what my plan actually is, but these are the colors we're working with. They're beautiful. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. Um, I think it's this really dark one that I'm trying to figure out the most. Where am I placing this? I don't know. We're gonna place it where it goes. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Okay, so I am apparently taking that above the crease and into the crease. And this is very dark, so that little bit went a very long way. And then I'm kind of putting it all over the lid, I guess. I'm just going wherever I, my hand is going. Oh gosh. This will be fine. This will be fine. Okay. I guess I'm kind of using this to set that primer because it just kind of is going everywhere. Sorry if you hear a mowing in the background. Neighbors are mowing. Hopefully it's not picking it up too much. Okay, this is looking very dark, very smoky, very clowny, but remember to trust, trust the process. I'm not taking anything more on this brush, but I am going to clean this up a bit. And what that means is I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Moving along next, we're going to actually put on more primer. I want to make this base a little bit. We're just gonna do a teeny bit, okay? So I'm actually gonna put it um, on my finger and then place it on. Okay. Just on the outer spot. Okay, then next shade's gonna be from the Icy 
palette. It's the Melted. And I'm gonna use another fluffyish brush. It's called a crease brush. That is picking up a lot. This is looking very pigmented. This palette's mirror, I love when a palette has a mirror to be completely honest, especially if it's bigger. This one's a little on the small side, but it's okay. That right on top of that shadow base and a little higher into the crease and above the crease because I do have a hooded eye. We're gonna build up some more to get more of that blue. And we're gonna bring it in just a little bit more towards the center of the eyelid and I'm looking down to another mirror. I did go in again, not because, it's just because it's against this black. If I hadn't have done the black everywhere, this would show up so much more pigmented um, because of the black underneath, it's definitely a deeper, smoky eye. That's what we're at so far. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Now that that's on and that has been blended, I'm gonna set that brush aside and we're going to go that shade from the Juvia's palette. Yeah, inner corner to the center of the lid. So the, the really dark part is gonna be up top. So That is so pretty. Making sure I get it into that inner corner. That is beautiful. Okay, and then the same on the other side. That is what we are at so far. Coming together. Still a little messy, but we're getting there. I'm gonna clean up the under eye. There is some fallout, but some of it is also just because my brush got to there. Um, so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit underneath. Make kind of our uh, clean up here. And then I think I'm gonna take a completely clean brush and kind of smudge this out a little bit let's see like so that it'll kind of take it a little lighter up top and make it more of a there we go okay that is much cleaner I'm not quite done with the cleaning but we're gonna do the liner and hope I don't mess this up because I will probably mess this up. I can use this as a guide. Let's see. Okay. It's a pretty intense wing. Oh, we're good. I will say this is like pulling my skin it's not like super creamy like on the actual testing I feel like it's working much better than on my eye but I am just making a little wing connecting a little bit on the bottom oh crap okay that just broke Well, that just broke. So let's uh, roll it back up and see if we can continue. I'm actually not enjoying this. I will actually be returning this because I just bought this. And this is very dry, very disappointing. And it literally just snapped off. Okay. So I'm gonna set that aside. I did what I could with it. And now I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit maybe smudge it out i don't know let's see okay can you see this i don't know if you can so it looks like i used two different pencils but i didn't the first was before it snapped the second line is from after it snapped it's like two different shades 
I'm gonna go back in with that blue, the melted blue. You're like, oh, there are so many blues. And do it on the bottom three quarters and then go in with the shimmery one further in. And that kind of helped give it a beautiful look there. I'm actually really liking how light that looks under with using the brush. So I'm gonna try to bring it up here. Yes, that's beautiful. All right, okay. let's move on to the other products that were picked. I actually really like the way this eye look came together. We'll see if it works with everything else though. So first we're gonna do the primer, which is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, this thing is super grippy, super, super, super grippy. So I'm just going to honestly do, I feel like I'm getting a Cleopatra look. I don't know, Egyptian look maybe. I'm gonna do just a doll up here and a doll up here. And just kind of rub it in. I know the instructions say to pat it in and I do pat it a little bit, but I feel like it doesn't, um, really get everywhere it needs to get by just patting it in. So I rub it around. And then as it's starting to get more tacky, I help it by patting it a little bit. And then I'm going to put the smallest amount on my forehead. Brush in the shade 330 Fair Light. And I'm just going to conceal a couple little spots. Um, I got a little redness here. Oh, that was much there. I tend to do like right behind here. And then mini beauty blender. And just kind of pat that out a bit. Okay. Foundation. This is where he went old, 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 old. Elf. Moisturizing foundation in the shade Nude. I have no idea if this is my shade currently. I have no idea. I know how I used to apply it. I used to apply it by just like that. And then I, this thing is so old. I don't even know. I know it's been discontinued for a while. Oh my goodness gracious. Start with that. Okay, let's beauty blend this thing. Okay. It's not a right color for me, but it's actually really pretty. Color match, I feel like is maybe a little bit off. It's a little orangey. It's actually spreading very well. Okay, on camera it looks very white. Hopefully in editing I see it doesn't look as white because <laughs> it's not. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I did a Simba. Honestly, this still feels great. Okay, well, you have to stop padding. You have to stop at some point, right? Okay, so in person, I feel like the color wise, this isn't bad. Um, I'm not liking the way it's drying, but in camera it looks very white. I'm gonna stop with the face beating. <laughs> Bring it down just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to set this. I'm gonna set it using the next item he picked, which was the Tarte Smooth Operator. Now, back when I used this foundation, I most definitely never set it. So this is the first for me. This is taking me back to looks I used to do a long, long time ago. Except it was all black instead of blues. Okay, let that sit for a moment and then we're gonna brush that off. 
I feel like that's set pretty well. I will say setting it actually, I feel like made it look really good on my skin, but there's definitely some decent patchiness. That's okay. It is what it is. So he went ahead and picked the Ofra Cosmetics Universal Eyebrow Pencil. Oh gosh, come on. That is dark. That is dark. That is so much darker than I was thinking. Okay. Well, first I'm gonna take just the brush part of the Elf one. Oh, that's dark. Okay. I need to go light. That is definitely not a great shade for me. That is not the right color for me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay. My fault for keeping in my collection and not trying it. All right. Let's contend. We're almost there, guys. We're almost, almost there. We only have a little bit left to go. All right. We are going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate. I mm, okay. Let's see. Okay. I think it's pretty light for me, to be honest. This is probably going to be more of a winter shade for me. But it's, it's doing a little bit. Could be just because of the uh, foundation it's mixed with being a little off. That's okay, we can build it. It is building up, it feels amazing. I'm gonna go in with now two Dewy products. We have, or two uh, cream products. We have a blush and a highlighter. The blush is this Dewy blush here. From Ciate London. It is in the shade Papaya. We're just gonna do that right there. Nice light blush. Because the eyes are seriously the star. Now you're gonna be shocked by the lip color with these eyes. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe it'll work. We'll see. Oh my gosh, did he really? I think I just figured out what style he was going for. Okay, next we got a highlight, and this one, I don't know that I've used it. I don't think I have, but this one is from So Suzanne Cosmetics Dream Maker Light Shifting Highlighter in the shade Popstar. So he picked all these creams and dewies, right? And then he picked a matte finish spray. We're gonna do that and then we will jump into the lashes real quick. All right guys, we're almost done. We have lips and lashes to go. He did go ahead and pick the lash primer. So I'm gonna put that on. Got some big lashes going on right now. We're gonna cover that up with our CoverGirl Lash Clean in the shade black, pitch black. He picked this one, which I was very, very happy about. We're down to the last two items, and that is for our lips. We have red. I think he went for red, white, and blue. I don't know. We'll have to ask him. But we have the Lux Liner in Ruby from Juvia's Place, which he would like mixed with the Maybelline Color Jolt in Ready ready or not. I don't know if this is still around. This is though, and I do like this one. So we're gonna do a quick lining. Beautiful. Now let's see if it goes with this. Like this type of applicator, so like a little bristle brush. I'm not a fan of that. But it still smells good, still works well. Push some out, and here we go. Now, do we think we made his look as he envisioned it? I don't know but we will find out when we call him out here for the reaction. Let's take that off. Guys, there's our finished look. All 
I was scared. I was scared at first, but I think, I think I pulled it off. I think I did. It's a bit, but I like it. What do you guys think? Did he pick some good products? Should we see if we did his vision or not? Your what? Did you see what I found that covered my face? Yeah. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Where's the camera? Oh. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Everything looks green because I had my eyes closed. Oh. So. <laughs> It's a really good Halloween. Right now, it looks like a really good Halloween themed. Uh, really? Yeah, I, everything looks green right now. Okay, hold on. I had to let my eyes adjust. <laughs> but it looked good, huh? Yeah. Is it looking not green yet? Yep. Wait, look that way. There, okay, there we go. In the mirror, the colors. There. Oh, nice. You like? Yeah. Is that what you were visioning? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. That means no. I mean, kind of. Well, okay. So I need a closer look at the eyes. Okay. So close, oh, close your, oh, that's great. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking. Like, it was kind of like a blend from one blue into the kind of gray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you weren't picking this going red, white, and blue? No, but now that you've just said that, <laughs> that, was, that was great. I finished the lesson like... This is the wrong holiday, man. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Thoughts? Yeah. Now I want to try this, but in green. Mm, okay. Yeah. He's looking at that little mirror that I have down here to do my makeup in. Because he's liking the reflection, I guess. Yeah, the light's hitting it just right so I can see everything. in. Well, hello. I am coming to you from about seven hours after this was filmed to give you an update on how it held up. I'm looking a little gothy right now. I'm going to turn on the lights in a minute, like the same lighting that I had earlier. It won't be exactly the same, but just so that you can kind of see this in a couple different lights. But honestly, I'm impressed. Of course, lip stuff doesn't hold up that long okay i mean some do but not any of the ones i use so the eye look i feel like for the most part held up really well there is a little bit here and i i don't think that's from the like natural thing i think that's maybe i rubbed it or something because this eye doesn't have any of that um so i feel like it held up really really well the eyelashes are still good to go. Um, the eyebrows are obviously still the wrong color for me, but they stayed. And the face makeup, surprisingly, did really well. The shimmer is still there. Um, the blush is a little bit gone, but the bronzing actually, I feel like, shows up more now. Um, and then the actual foundation, like it was patchy before, like parts of my skin was definitely coming through versus other parts weren't, which could have been application or could be because, you know, it is very, very old, embarrassingly old, but honestly, it looks beautiful where it actually was fully it looks beautiful and actually kind of as it soaked in to my skin it kind of evened out and so it didn't look patchy anymore i don't know tell me what you think all right let's turn on these lights all right how do we think it held up i think it held up really nicely the eyes except for that one spot that i I'm pretty sure just means that I like itched or something. But honestly, guys, I think this held up really well. I'm very happy with it. Okay, so um, that's going to be the end of this video where my husband picked my makeup. Did you like it? Let me know. I'm going to go wash this all off because it's been a long day. A very fun day, but a long day. And enjoy my... McFlurry and watch a show with my husband. So 
You guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.